This is going to take a lot of editing. Oh well. Um. Right, so where was I? Oh yes, this magical water over here for some reason wasn't working correctly. It was like still flowing out even though I'd corrected it. Um. There we go, is that... Nope, not an infinite source yet, I don't think. Is that an infinite source? Yes, it is actually. There we go, perfect. Perfect, I say. Um, oh yeah, something I did mean to talk about is I bought something the other day and it eventually came. It is Minecraft related, so it does sort of apply. I bought a Wolfie McWolferton seal of approval t-shirt and I'll tell you what, the artwork on that is amazing. It's brilliant. I actually made a tweet about it, so if you don't follow me on Twitter then why not? Go do that. I gave you the chance last episode, didn't I? Well, I gave you the chance in Mole Survivor at least. So, I would suggest going and doing that because I do make tweets from time to time and some of them I do attempt to be funny in, so you may enjoy them. Um, yeah, the artwork on that is brilliant. It's done by Six Alona, who does a lot of Minecraft. Am I about to disconnect again? Is that what's about to happen? Yes, my infinite source is gone. And we're back. Okay. I didn't disconnect, but something fishy is going on. Um. Okay. Apparently I never even typed a message into chat. He's always getting server lag though, so... Or at least he always blames it on server lag. He's probably over at the harvester at the moment, trying to get some levels, so I might not get a response from him. Or well, I might have already got a response from him, and it's just lagged so bad that it's not going to tell me. And here we are again, having connection troubles. I'm... Um, So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to solve that lag issue. Um, I don't think I'm getting lag. Well, yeah, it's, it's probably just this this poor connection. Um, ideally, I want to run an Ethernet cable up here, but it is a rented accommodation, so um, unless I can find a way to do it without destroying the entire house, then... I might have to stick with the wireless, um, plus an ethernet cable would have to be quite long, it'd have to be sort of a 5-10 meter cable maybe to get up here, unless I take it through the floor which I guess would be probably the preferred method um, I remember at my old house I did sort of spend some time trying to find holes that were already in the floor to get um, an ethernet signal running up um, I'm going to starve soon, so I hope you enjoyed watching, because I will no longer be alive shortly. I just want to get this done. Please let me get this finished before I starve. I must have some food, surely. Can you eat slime? Alright, I'm going to get food quick. Quickly now. Up we go. It's so difficult to tell how long I've been recording for. And it's night time. Wonderful. And I can't sprint, of course. Get back. What? How come you didn't die? Should be a two hit with this thing. Why? Are, what are you doing here? Oh shit, I'm starving. It's happening. I'm going to starve to death. Please don't. He'll see it and he'll laugh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Zombie flesh. 
Zombie flesh. Where's the zombie flesh? Where is it? There it is. Whew. Close call or what? I won't last me long. And the next time, I will actually die, so... I'll do. Let's kill some of these guys and waste this sword on them. That'll do for now. I don't want to make it difficult to breed, so... Um, let us drop this off. Oh, shit! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> I can't believe that! <sighs> Alright, let's get back over there and get our stuff. You can't be kidding. <laughs> I just thought I solved the problem. I was just relaxing and all of a sudden... I starved to death. Well, you guys know you were there, you were watching. I want to get this farm finished before I end the episode. All this good stuff. I don't... I, he must be AFK still because... He hasn't commented on the fact that I just starved to death, so... Right, let's journey back up. And out. You just saw my house, by the way. Um, I ran straight out of it, though, so... You probably didn't see an awful lot of it. I will go tour it in a minute. Hopefully it'll be... Yeah, it'll be daytime soon. Oh, I took some damage for some reason. Okay. That's fine, I don't mind. What? How did you get in? Goodness. No respect for private property. Nope. Wasted my sword. <laughs> Good times. So, there we go. No. Well, that'll do, I guess. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Still plenty of cows in there, as you can hear. So the source block is there, so that should make... Yep, that's making everything sort of flow down in that direction. Um, I will need water under these as well. Have I got an axe? I f yes, I do. Okay. This is the most boring video ever, of all time. That'll do for now, I'll sort this out later. I'll do it off camera, because it's going to be boring otherwise. I'm so glad they fixed that water glitch. That would have been a nightmare to live with. I got some experience or something. I wonder what that was. Oh, probably that sheep. Just delayed slightly or something of that nature. Um, right, I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna be doing next episode now because I've got run out of things to talk about. Where's my hoe? I didn't pick it up, did I? Have I got right, I got I got all the enchanted stuff which is important. Um I haven't got my hat though. I have got some lag. And we're back. <laughs> it's become a running theme. Um, is there one? Did I put it in there? No, I'll have to make a new one. It's fine. I don't mind wasting my resources. Um, get out of here, sticks. I already had sticks. I could use them. Never mind. Get rid of all of this stuff just to have it out of my life forever. Um, why is there not a dispenser there? Did I pick one up? Okay. That would be my phone. Two seconds. Interruptions galore. Okay. This is going to be a pain in the ass to edit. Um. Hmm. Yeah, next episode, I'm probably going to be... This will all be finished. You get the general gist of it. 
maybe I'll do the door if I can find some sticky pistons, but, um, or some slime balls. I mean, I don't know if I told you this, but Chab has actually given me unlimited access to his resources, so technically everything in those chests I could go in and take, which is quite nice of him, but I'd feel bad. Ugh. So I won't do that. Where's that hoe gone? There it is. Um. Goodness, this lag. Come on. And we're back. <laughs> oh, how many times is that? I wonder. Someone do a count for me. How many times it's disconnected? I probably won't include all of the times because sometimes I've just come on and it's literally disconnected me straight away. So, sound lag as well. Which is awesome. Thank you very much, Virgin, for your shitty hardware. It's going to have to be an Ethernet cable. I mean, I'm not going to buy a router. Another one. Because what you'll have to do is set that one to modem mode, which basically means you have to buy like a, a decent router for an extra twenty, thirty pound. And then switch that one to modem mode and just put all the traffic through to the the second router and it's just it's just a pain in the ass to do. Um and you shouldn't have to do it really. If you're a Virgin customer, if you're from the UK and you're having trouble, then we should all band together. I mean, Sky is bad as their sort of their setup was because you couldn't use your own router at all with them. At least, <sighs> at least the one that they supplied you. Come on. Ugh. I'm going to rage quit just from not being able to hoe a bit of ground at this rate. It's not fair. I don't know why it keeps happening to me. Um, yeah, as, as bad as their... Um, I guess as bad as their... Setup was, because you had to use their own router. And they wouldn't actually give you the settings for... Um, setting up your... Oh, I'm going to need to close this bit off because of the redstone. So I might leave that bit untilled. Um, pickaxe. At least the router that they supplied you was sufficient to do the job. I mean, I only wanted to use my own because I spent like 80 quid on it and it was a really powerful one I've been meaning to get for a while and of course I couldn't use it. Um, I suppose I could try and put the traffic through that one but it's not a cable router so I may have some issues with it. Not sure if it make a difference. Right. We have got our automatic wheat farm established. Oops. Oh, no we haven't. Here we go. Um, I'll get this all set up sufficiently. Um, I can put these back in there now. Thank very much. Uh, it's not the only automatic wheat farm on the server. But... I plan on it being the most efficient because of the collection system. Everyone else is just water comes down from the ceiling and it all pulls up and you have to run around to actually pick it up. So hopefully this system will be a lot better in that respect. Um, like I said, I might do a glass floor or a glass edge around here so you can just see what the wheat is doing to progress to grow. Um, clearly... I'm going to put a wall in there to block off the redstone. I will do this little door idea on camera because I'd like you guys to know how hard I worked on it or how hard I watched a tutorial on it. Um, again, this will probably... That is going to drop here. So it's this block that needs to go. So if I get rid of that, just to remind me, something easy to punch out. So you'll walk in, there'll be a switch here, you have to stand on that, flick the switch, that will open, you'll fall down, how did grass spread to that, and that'll be that. Um, let me show you my house real quickly, there's not a lot of explaining to do, it's just a house, it's a small house, we decided to go for 16 by 16 plots, I think I explained that in the last episode, that's Elliot's house, I don't think it's quite done yet because the roof looks a bit funky. Um... That's Matty's, the Matcraft now. Uh, Hitchcrafter. 
Chris has done some work on his house as well, and he did a video, um, which I mentioned earlier. Chab is quite happy in his Pokeball, so I don't think he's going to be doing any other houses. Um, I'm going to start working on the roads as well. I don't think I'll do that on camera, because that will be boring as hell. Um, so that will be an off-camera job. This is my house. It's very simple, I know. It's got a nice front porch, a nice second floor, slanting roof. Um, there's a little attic space up there. This I'm going to landscape a bit. Um, I want to have a back garden back there as well. Um, this is something for one for just one night. Let's not to be co-workers. Um, this does not. Oh my goodness. <sighs> what I should have tried to do was transition seamlessly in between all of this mess. But I'm wearing thin now. Um, if you watched one of my first episodes, the lads made me a fridge. This did actually have food in. This one operates a front door as well, which I didn't think he realised because he didn't test it. And we're lagging again. If this if this kicks me off again, this is it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight it anymore. If it doesn't want me playing Minecraft, I'm not gonna play on it until I sort the problem out at least. Um, the upper floor. What's a bit annoying is glass panes don't connect to stairs so that didn't work so I had to use a glass block in there but um, I haven't got any furniture yet as you can see I'll probably do an oven set up like in my tree house in here this will just be a place my spawn place I'll probably move back to the tree house after I'm done here so it may seem a bit pointless but okay that is how we are working things crafting bench um, so next time Hopefully, let's have some beef. Nope. Um, next time, hopefully we'll have some of these roads done. Hopefully, we might even have some new faces on the server. If not, um, the next episode probably will be me building... I was thinking about... Because this river down here, that used to stop about there. But I dug it all out. So it actually goes up and all the way around to a jungle over there. And all the way around to a jungle over there. So... Maybe a boathouse down here I'll build next. Or we'll build a bank so we've got like safety deposit boxes for everyone. Um, and also you can go there to get a loan or whatever. Uh, I'll need to replace this with diamonds. I'll have the rules up here on the server next time. Ready for any new faces. The other thing I did was stick a bit of glowstone in this tree just for an extra bit of light. It doesn't look too gaudy and we got some underneath these as well just to light it up a bit better because the block light wasn't brilliant there. Um, so I'll make some roads. We will need to, if as you can see, the nether portal's moved over there. But I will make a proper room for it. Like I said, perhaps a train station. Maybe just up the back here. And just a, a fake track going off in that direction. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I apologise about all the issues. Hopefully you'll find my rage and entertaining. Um, if it happens once more, then... I will promise you, I will throw the mouse and you'll hear a lot of swearing. Um, but as the sun sets, this has been the... Oh. I met that up. I was going to say something really inspiring then. But I forgot what I was going to say. Goodbye. And all, my name is Steve. And this is the Davcraft server. And that is my completed wheat farm. I've done a lot of work on it off camera a lot of this platform I managed to do I had some help from I believe it was Chris who just sort of set all of this up with a, a regular door I decided against the piston door because it was just too complicated and we ran out of space really um, this whole room has moved down about three or four blocks as well so yeah that took some time to do but let us harvest why is that not working Some of it worked. Hmm. Interesting. And annoying at the same time. So, let's stick a lever on there, see if we can resolve this problem. Slight hiccup in the system. Oops, didn't mean to do that, that's for sure. Oh well, I'll leave it like that for now. I don't think I've got a hoe up here. Nope, but I have got iron, I could make a hoe. 
That book we will get to later. Um, right. Let's replace that with a lever. Have we got one of them now? Nope. And we have no cobble, it would seem. Not the best start to an episode, I know. Um, this is the second video I'm recording today. I did a, um, a mole survivor. That is not a lever. <laughs> I did a mole survivor earlier on today. Um, so is that... That's powering. Right, so... Oh, I don't wonder if it's because I haven't... I'm so stupid. Um, put the bones in there. I, um... I'm going to need to put more in there than that, aren't I? When I moved the room down, I must have taken out all the water buckets and just not bothered to refill them. So, we'll go do that now. Quickly. As we are serenaded by... C418 is his name. That's right, isn't it? Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go, let's put that away so we don't have to mess about with that. Okay, down we go. Right, let's get some buckets in each of these then. Um,. I went to the nether to get some glowstone and I died quite a few times while I was there, so it wasn't the best of trips. Let's just leave it at that. Um, I mean, I haven't really spent any extended time in the nether on this world. Or on uh, the more survival world, in fact. Am I going to run short buckets? There's three left, that should be okay. Yep, that's right. So much easier doing it this way than the piston way. Okay, right, let's try this magic again, shall we? Um, if you're wondering why this is checkered up here, it's because you get that horrible light and glitch, so... There we go, activates all of it. Um, before we go down there though, we'll switch it off. Head on down here. Um... Not supposed to be off. Why are you not off? What is going on with this thing? There we go, that switched it off for some reason. Okay. Whatever you say. And the majority of it, not all of it, will actually just come straight to you. But, of course, you're going to get some of this mess. Um, I can't really think how to solve that problem other than making this double high. And um, that's not something that's really that important, I shouldn't think. Um, so, I'll replant this very quickly. So, plans for today. I was going to do the Never Hub, but something has happened that I'm quite distraught about, so I'll explain that. I've, uh, you'll all remember we were listening to the lovely Disc Ward um, last time we were here and uh, while we were doing all of this work um, that disc has since disappeared I imagine I mean it's only speculation but I think someone's taken it um, it could be possible I could have misplaced it but it's also possible that someone could have stolen it so today we are going to go and see if we can find the culprit. So we're going to do a little investigation. As you can see, only one on the server. I can do what I like without consequence. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go rifling pe through people's stuff without a search warrant. And see if we can find the disc. Okay. Nearly there. This seems to take an awful long time to grow. I'm not sure if it's the lighting or what, but that glowstone should give enough, enough light. And I had torches up there before, and it, see, it felt like it was going quicker, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't know if torches or glowstone gives off better light. I imagine glowstone does, because you've got the, the angled approach of it there. Um, hmm. 
these shears need to be dropped off at the farm as well so let us go do that now and I'll drop the wheat off while I'm over there um, as you can see big old wheat farm up here that's just for show though I got a sign there saying please use the automatic farm below um, the reason I'm doing that is again functionality um, comes second to aesthetics so I wanted a farm that would look good and then a farm that would work and I put the farm that would work out of sight um, a lot of cows down here look at them all it's crazy um, some pigs too I'll drop off some wheat for you guys sheep I'm not going to worry about because we've got far too many of them already and look at all these chickens look at all of that isn't that amazing um, I'm tempted to breed them some more. Let's do that while we're here, shall we? Just go crazy on spamming these, because they don't really get in your way like the other animals do, so it's not as difficult. And that's all of the wheat gone. Um, I found that some of them... Oh, let's get those eggs. I found that some of them tend to accept more than one wheat. So, oh, you just heard yourself a ticket to the slaughter factory. The slaughterhouse. Plenty of eggs. Right, yeah, I noticed um, something that I was going to say a minute ago, but then completely lost track of what I was talking about. Oh, that one died. Got stuck in the wall for some reason. Um, what was I saying, for God's sake? It's only two seconds ago, Steve. Try and remember. Nope, I lost it. Okay. <laughs> um... It's not even worth trying to remember because I have well and truly lost what I was trying to say. Um, there's a lot of creeper damage in this town, but Chris was kind enough to walk around with me and fix it this morning. Um, just sort of filling in the holes with cobble, and like I said, we had a dirt shortage, so we just used dirt for the the topmost layer. Um, hopefully, that would give better damage protection as well. In fact, I was mining. A cup mining some dirt, um, a couple of blocks below ground, and then just replacing it with cobble, <sighs> just to give us a decent supply of dirt while we were doing these repairs. And still, we're sort of short on dirt again, but I may as well. Oh, I ain't got an arrow. Let's see if I can, if I've got any arrows. I just need the one because it's infinity. I wonder if there's multiple levels of infinity. I shouldn't think so. Because surely once you've got one arrow, that's all you're ever going to need. That's awesome arrow. I can just shoot and shoot and shoot and never run out. Give me that XP. Come on. Wish there was a button you could press, like on Fable 2. Um... Haven't done a lot of work in town. Chab's built his bridge at long last. And I'm guessing... I'm not sure how he did it because... He doesn't actually have access to spawn. So I don't know if this is just outside of spawn. But I thought it came all the way over here. But it looks pretty good. The only thing I'd change about it is... I'm not overly keen on that. I would be tempted to get some never brick stairs there. And replace that with that but it's up to him I mean it's his bridge and cobble would look right up there as well like a um an old timey looking thing so what we're going to do is we're going to start our investigation over at Elliot's house I don't think he's the culprit but he could be there's nothing in these chests it's a bit of a different episode today we've got a mystery to solve And we'll do this quickly before anyone gets on as well. Power one, power one. He's been getting a lot of drops, hasn't he? Um, hmm. 27 diamonds, blimey. Someone's been branch mining. I really should give in and branch mine. Oh, I didn't notice that chest. Hmm. No, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Wow, that's a lot of arrows. I do not need that many though. Is there anything down here, I wonder? I haven't actually seen much of his house, to be honest. Um, 
it just looks like it's going to be a mine of some description. It's quite nice down here. Good colour scheme. This would be his branch mine, I imagine. So, this episode is kind of doubling up as a spawn point tour. Mm, there's no way to tell if he's hidden it down here. I'm assuming that he would have hidden it in plain sight if he had it. And until I have time to arrest, interview, and interview these guys, um, we won't know for sure, but if we do a cursory check, then we may stand a chance of learning the truth. Yeah, th that looks really good. The, um, the contrast between or well, the birch and that and that. Um, I wasn't overly keen on the outside look of this house, but it's sort of grown on me a bit. Um, it looked a bit out of character, but um, the way it sort of ties in with like itself. He still uses blocks, so I wonder if we can sway him to the the pain persuasion of building. So you're in a clear so far. Mr. Hitchcrafter. Let's check Matty's place. He's on holiday now, so I don't think he would have had time to perform such heinous crimes, but at the same time... Oh, he got one as well. I'll, I'll have that, thank you. Um, at the same time, it could all be a ploy to absolve himself from the theft of the record. Did I mention it was a record? Yes I did, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go search my house because I'm pretty sure that it's not in there. Um, is Ward is the disc that we're looking for. It's definitely not in those two. I've checked so many times in these chests though. Um, I can't remember if I checked yeah, it's 13 and cat but not Ward. Um, I'm pretty sure I checked those chests over by the wheat farm because that's where we last had it. Um, oh, something I want to do on a regular basis at the start of each episode, at least the ones that I do at spawn, is check my PO box with a lot there in the hope that someone will have gifted me something. See, he's got something in his PO. Let's leave him something, shall we? You can have a pair of shears. In fact. Shears for everyone. I was going to leave them over at the farm, but I forgot. Hmm. There you go. Um, those three emeralds in my inventory will come into play shortly. Hmm. So who shall we investigate next? Let's go over to Chris's place, seeing as it's over here. Now, I know, and I think I've even mentioned, that Chris does have a copy of Ward for himself. Or at least he did. See, there's a disc there. But... He did mention that he had lost everything. I'm not sure whether... He put certain things away. That looks pretty cool, the way he's got that there. I approve. Um, and he's got his... Television here. Hopefully he shows that before I upload this video. Um... There were a lot of zombies in here earlier. When, um. He's got quite a lot of doors upstairs, you see. There he goes, he's nice. That's quite cool. Oh. <gasps> he's got another copy of Ward. I think it's him. There's no way he's got two copies. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have found our culprit. This is my copy. There's no way he's got two copies of the same thing. I am taking that. Um, if you don't like it, then I'll see you in court. So, just so he doesn't get upset. There's no way he's got two copies. No way, no how. He is the thief, whether meaning to or not. See, he's already got a copy in there. And I do have the extra copies, so... Uh, I'm going to leave him a sign. Hmm. 
Mr. Chris Craft. Your house has been raided and illegal. Uh, we need another sign. Has he got any over here? Hmm. We've done it, guys. We have completed our investigation, I believe. At least I hope so. Um, I did have a backup plan. If we had not found that disc in there. And I will still go ahead with explaining that backup plan. But shortly. Not right this moment. Something I've been wondering about this house is... Plots are... S um, 16 by 16. This plot seems really big. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 6. I suppose he's right on the money there. But then his top floor overlaps. And of course he's done this as well. Which is uh, an interesting way to avoid the 16 by 16 plot thing. But I'll let him show you that. Oh, oh, up, up we go. Further. Further. There we go. And the right. Success. Mr. Chriscraft, your house has been raided and illegal property ha illegal No. Just no. Mr. Chris Craft. Your property has been raided and illegal. No, <laughs> so I just did. I did it wrong again. Illegally. That's what I want, illegally. Right, Mr. Chris Craft. Your property has been raided and illegally gained contra contraband has been seized. I before E except after C. Seized. That doesn't look right. Oh well. He won't know. He can't spell either. DV Police. There we go. We have done it. Caught red handed. So I'm going to go put this back in here we'll have a quick sleep and then I will explain the uh, the book that is in my inventory bedtime I would make snoring noises but I don't snore so um, let us I'm gonna put this upstairs with the rest of my records hmm, I wonder if that's why he's got such a nice house because he's uh, secretly uh, criminal mastermind and all of his ill-gotten gains go into buying such a large property okay oh that looks familiar almost looks like it belongs underground on the mall survivor doesn't it oh sprint right this is the bounty wall please read rule book before posting accepting so here we have the rule book it is um, bounty hunting by retroclips now so this is just the index post on the bounty take a sign from the chest place it on the board with the bounty required make the, mark the chest that the bounty will be placed in by writing hash and then the relevant number or you might call that the pound sign I don't know it depends where you're from a bounty must be left in corresponding chest at time of post. Accepting a bounty. Check the board for a bounty. Check reward has been put in the correct chest. Make sure you have, make sure you record or have some evidence, i.e., screenshot, to verify task completion. Claiming a bounty. Send screenshot or video evidence if recording to poster. Collect reward from chest. Remove bounty post from more 
once complete. Um, we're going to go on good faith that once you've sent the proof that you can just go ahead and see you've got all these numbers, numbered chests in here so you can have seven bounties at any one time. I just thought it would be an extra dynamic to the fun. And people can't just post bounties there if they don't plan on keeping through because you're supposed to leave a chest and you're supposed to check a chest. I uh, did the same trip to the stairs there, so you can still open those. I suppose... Hmm. Some of these street lamps need doing, so I suppose I could continue with doing that just to show you another design that I saw. That might be nice to use. Um, I really want Chab to keep making videos because he has so many secret projects going on. He's like, I don't know. He's just, he's just like Dexter's laboratory in there. You just walk inside a Pokeball, and there's all sorts of experiments going on downstairs. What am I in here for? I want some fences, if at all possible. Um, need glowstone. Do we have any fences? Oh, I saw some there actually. Um, and gobble gobble, and some wood. Let's grab both of those just in case we need some more. Um, we want some redstone as well because we're going to be making some redstone lamps which I have no idea how to make so I might need to wiki it is it something as simple as that I hope it's something as simple as that nope it's not I will have to wiki it be right back and we're back apparently I was overthinking it it's this which is nice there we go just chuck that on the ground because it's not like it's fragile or anything um, put that on the bar. Let's get some of these levers crafted, shall we? Um, nope. There we go. We're going to need some more fences, so we may as well do that while we're over here as well. Just chuck them on the ground. Just litter everywhere. There's no law against that, is there? Um, I swear I had tons of fences, but where on earth they keep disappearing to, I'll never know. Perhaps that is a mystery for another day. For a chocolate's now private eye. Um, this is the other design that I was tempted to go for. I saw it when I was watching Vintage Beef and Goo play on Kingdom of the Sky. And I had toyed with a similar design, but it did look quite good when they had... Oh, I need half slabs now as well. It did look quite good the way they had it. Um, well, not Lay, the, the map maker. His name escapes me now, but um, hmm, Kingdom of the Sky 2, I think it was, that he had the cool little designs on. So, yeah. Sorry, map maker, I can't remember your name, but you make good lamps. Because um, these seem quite bulky, and they're all right for the town centre. Um, just flick them on and off, but when you start to move outside of town it's they're quite they occupy quite a bit of space so um yep so that high then there have we got any we've got cobble um let's get gravel because gravel's easy to take down okay there we go Hmm, they still look horribly and bu horribly bulky, but I'm sure we'll grow to... Oops, no, it helps if you're actually underneath the gravel, Steve. There we go. And this may be the reason why I didn't do it before, because of the awkwardness of placing these, but... Nope, that works fine. That's great. Let's see how this looks from down here. Have we got a shovel? No. Hmm. Yeah, that looks really good, I think, because it looks like it's braced there and there. So I think on the streets, rather than in the open areas, I might even change these two to that design, because they look quite out of place with 
the rest going round because you got two two, two two. Yeah, yeah. I think I will change those two to this design as well. So let's build a few more of these because I do enjoy this design. I mean, as horrible as redstone lamps look, um, in comparison to just sort of torches dotted about, um, I'm sure I can cope with it if it's a half decent design like so. Uh, of course, he didn't have the levers on here. I don't think I. He may have used glowstone. It's difficult to tell because he had it on a a texture pack, so. I was not 100% on whether it was glowstone or redstone. I imagine it must have been glowstone because I don't remember seeing the levers on the back. But there we go. So one, two, one, two, space. Here we can put another one. Boop. We seem to be getting less and less mobs in town, which is good. Um, we need to start expanding the road out towards the houses so we can get decent roads established and then we'll be able to light them up without having to rely on piles and piles of torches because that is a fire hazard as some of you may not realize an open flame in the middle of a street mm, mm, mm. yeah I died quite a few times in the nether which I'm, I'm kind of glad I wasn't filming I mean Chris got a, a good laugh out of it because he was on this morning when I was when I was in there, I the thing is I wasn't actually getting killed by stuff. It was just like knocking me off my platform as I was going for the glowstone. Let's fix that. That's been bugging me for a while. Um, that's looking pretty good, nice and neat. Um, we'll put another one here. Nope, we won't. We'll put that one a step back. Um. I might leave it up to the guys to build the roads actually leading up to their houses. Um, I do mine, obviously, but as long as they stay, um, as long as we try and stay to the same design so it doesn't look too messed up, then it should turn out quite well. There we go. That looks way better than the uh, the big old ugly ones, and you save on a lot of glowstone that way. You may notice that so far. I have not disconnected. What is going on? What is happening? That should have been a regular feature of the Daft Craft, surely. It's something you all got used to last episode. Um, speaking of the last episode, this will actually be part of that footage because that footage took quite a while, so um, it might seem a bit weird me saying hello one and all in the middle of an episode, but that's what happened if you're confused by that. Halfway through the video I explain it. So, yeah. Um, let us just place some of these. Just so we've got this set up. This will be the curb going along to the houses. Um, it won't have to be this wide all the way along, but in town and immediately outside of town is probably a good idea. Um, so next time, I guess, I will have to get to work on the Nether Hub because Sean Pigman hasn't been able to come to work for a little while. So it would be nice if we got the Nether Hub sorted so he could get to work on time for once and we won't have to be seeking a new mayor. I mean, I would like him to be re-elected. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it'd probably just sound like a nutcase, but if you've watched these videos before, you'll know who Sean Pigman is. There we go. Let's have a nap while we're here. Oh, I'm out of water. And yet I'm so thirsty. Okay. Any nasties out here? Nope. Let's continue on. Oh, there's one over there. Probably should stop. Oh, that was unlucky. You just went right down here, didn't you? So did I. Um, I think this is where Chab used dig attack. Chabmander. Which, by the way, there's another reason why I really want him to make another video, and that is 
top secret. It may have been... I know Elliot was doing a map with him today, so... It may be shown on that. And I sort of hope it's shown on Daftcraft first, because... I enjoy his videos, even if he does use terrible recording software. He's a funny guy. And somewhat of a nuisance when it comes to disorganising chests, but okay. Keeps his own stuff really organised, though. If you ask him where anything is in his house, he'll tell you exactly what chest it's in. Even if it's all spread out, which it is a lot of the time. Um, I think we're going to start wrapping this episode up soon because it will be an extension of the footage that I shot yesterday. Um, this time frame won't make any sense to you when you're watching this anyway, so... Um, sorry for the confusion halfway through the episode when I started saying hello one and all, but... I'm sure you'll get over it. It will be easily forgiven, I'm sure. Right, how should we finish this off? There's another portal over there. I guess we can try and find a location for the Never Hub. Like I said, I want it to be a train station. So if we journey out this way a bit, we could. I wish Matty would knock that down. Um, I might speak to him on um, Skype because he's on holiday at the moment and see if I can knock that down so we can continue expanding the town this away. Um, hmm. So this looks like a good spot for a train station. Of course, it'd just be um, just be a few tracks and the hub underneath. Um, I was thinking of making the actual bit inside the nether like um, like a proper subway station where you have to pick your destination before going in and put fence gates there where you have to, that's just a normal fence, just put fence gates there where you have to pay your toll before going through. So that's the plan there. I'll be doing that next episode. I promise. Um, what else do we need to do in town? We need a bank. Um, I'm not sure where to stick the bank. It would be quite good to have the bank perhaps here or next to the police station so it's nice and secure. Or maybe even... I was planning on doing some market stalls over here. So I might do that off camera because they're going to be a very simple basic design. And we're going to have a marketplace over here somewhere. Um... Well, perhaps not over here, perhaps over there. I thought it was on a different path. Um, but the bank, I don't want it to be a huge bank, but it does, it's going to need a lot of underground space to store everyone's goods, so. Maybe even a combination lock to get in there, to store your valuables. Um, yeah. Hmm. So train station over there, marketplace, perhaps I'll put the marketplace here, like another little courtyarded area, right next to the town hall. And then perhaps the bank here maybe, right next to my house. Perhaps so I can tunnel in there and steal everyone's valuables. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll become I'll become the master ball the what? What did I just say? The master ball. Jeez, got Pokemon on the brain. I'll become the uh, <laughs> the criminal mastermind like Mr. Chris Craft here. So, if you'd like to turn yourself into the authorities, Mr. Chris Craft, then you're very welcome to. We'll probably, after an investigation, stick you in those cells again. So, thank you for watching, guys. Check out, if you want to discuss it in a safe environment away from YouTube comments, this episode or anything Daftcraft related then check out the forum post below um, follow me on Twitter um, there's also my Rooster Teeth account if any of you have Rooster Teeth and thank you ever so much for watching ta-ta